You, you, I do not consent. You've got no right. Whoa! This is this is this is thuggery. We know it's not going to end well. The question is: Is do we get a broken window? The Universal Postal Union was established in 1874 uh, for the country of origin to keep the money uh, from stamps and not the country of destination. And what does this have to do with the driver's license? I don't know. Uh, I just don't like how brackets are used and set parenthesis and numerous other little errors. Uh, however, I think a book of stamps on the front right fender uh, would carry more weight than this driver's license or dr license plate. Hey boss, how you doing? How's your back? That's there, sheriff. There we go. He said, hey boss. I like that. It's an excellent use of a gender neutral uh, third person present singular pronoun. Uh, that's something that's lacking in the English dictionary. So if you call someone boss, that's an informal, respectful way. Uh, another way that some guys use is, hey yo. Uh, so we established that this is going to be informal dialogue and with a very respectful police officer. Okay, where's your driver's license, boss? Now don't be more now. Okay, where's your driver's license? Well, they're usually smaller that could fit in a wallet. Uh, now, if a police were if a police were to ask me for my driver's license and I gave him a, a double cheeseburger container with driver's license written on it. That would carry equal amount of weight as this piece of paper. What I like about this is it's already established that we're having an informal dialogue here uh, with the boss. Now listen to how he says nah. Okay, where's your driver's license, boss? Now don't be my little All right, nah is informal for no. Uh, let's see again. Okay, where's your driver's license, boss? Now don't be my little I'm sorry, what's up? <laughs> Alright, let's just go to the next clip. Uh -huh. I watched this uh, once already. Uh, I won't tell you if there's a broken window or not. But he's talking to uh, his girlfriend or wife named Michelle. Now Michelle, uh, I don't know where she gets her uh, lawyer advice. Perhaps a, a side of a box of a cereal? I'm not quite sure, but let's listen. I think that is going to be an issue. Uh-huh. He identifies as a nat national neutral. Now, I can identify as Team Tough, but I still need a driver's license. Well, Michelle said so. It doesn't so. matter who he identifies <laughs> as, he's operating a motor vehicle. Now, what does a driver's license have to do with uh, Geneva Conventions. I mean, that's to deal with humane treatments towards prisoners during war. And why is it, why is the police officer listening to this? Maybe just to show he's patient to get backup for amusement. Uh, they, very patient police officer, very respectful man. Hang on, hang on, Michelle. Hang on, hang on, hang on, Michelle. Michelle, hang on. Oh, do you think Michelle's going to hang on? <laughs> well, uh, nice use of a phrasal verb, hang, plus preposition or adverb, hang on. So, uh, Michelle, just hang on a second. He's talking with the police officer. Get ready for the single most misused word in all the English dictionary. Wait, because he's got it right. He's got the paper in his hand. Got. All right. If it's currently happening, use have or has. Uh, so, he actually used a contraction before got too. He's got. Uh, British English, uh, to conjugate the verb got, is get, got, gotten. Ameri that's uh, American English, get, got, gotten. British English is get, got, got. Uh, so, the contraction, uh, he's gotten, why don't you just say has? Uh, poor guy. Poor guy. He's a sovereign citizen. I, see, I don't make fun of... Uh, uh, so when you hear about Florida man, uh, the reason why is Florida, the police, they release all the footage. So there's plenty of weirdos all across the U.S. and the world, but Florida does the best job at releasing it, so that's why you're so much a Florida man. And I don't want to show people uh, when they're doing things like uh, putting things in their body that make, them make poor decisions. I don't want to 
expose their faces for the world to see. But when you're choosing to be a sovereign citizen, this is premeditated. And you're going through life without uh, getting your vehicle registered, driving without a license. So, hey, I have no problem making fun of you then, because this isn't just an accident. This is a choice. Yeah. All we're trying to do is just identify that's it and then send you on your way. Um, is that your last name? No. Okay. Why, why, why don't you get out of have I done something wrong? Have I done something wrong? Hmm. <laughs> Failure to identify yourself? Driving without a license or registration? Hmm. Or insurance? <laughs> or common sense? <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Before you drive me out of the car, what have I done? Hop out of the car. Have I done something wrong? You're failing to, re you're failing to identify yourself? Uh, that's, not a, that's not a law. That's not a misdemeanor. It's not a law. Hey, come on. Don't get in my car. What are you guys doing? Come on, Michelle. Come rescue the man. I thought I heard dragging. I'm not quite sure. Uh, the audio is not that great on this. Are you about to drag me from my car? I don't want you to drag me from my car. Infinitives uh, two, infinitive markers two before the base form of a verb could speak of the future quite well. Don't get me out of the car. All right, all right. All right, he's getting out of the car. It's not registered. Stay out of my wallet. It's not. All right, stay out of my wallet. Uh, well, what's he going to find in there? A valid driver's license? Uh, sometimes those commands, uh, the U is implied, Y-O-U, so you stay out of my car, you would be the subject. But hey, this is informal, and uh, I just wish Michelle would show up and help the poor guy out. Stay out of the wall. Everything's coming out of your pocket. No! Stop it. Stop it. Hold on, hold on! Hold on! Here's Michelle. <laughs> okay. Do you, yes. Do you want to talk? It's really nice when you have a level-headed uh, significant other to come to your defense to make everything okay. Remember, don't fight with the police officer. Fight it over in court. Damn or not, if not, we're going to get him out of here. We're trying to give him the keys. the door. Uh, she's refusing to follow commands. I'm not a lawyer, but uh, if a police officer tells you to lock the door, please do so. Huh? Think a broken window's coming up? Will he pull the window open? I'm not going to unlock you. Get up. Get up. You break it? Open the door. Get up. Get up. Get up. Broken window. Everyone knows that I love verbs and break, broke, broken. Uh, whenever I teach kids verbs, uh, the past participle broken, uh, all along I teach them should have, could have, and would have in writing because uh, it simplified for children uh, to use the past participle broken. And by the time they do 10, 15, or 20, uh, you could use uh, uh, past participles and adjectives such as broken window, frozen ice, but I'm just happy that this video has a broken window. Unlock this door. No, I'm not gonna unlock you. Get up. You break it? Open the door. Now get out. Get out. Get up. Get up. Get up. All right. Uh, hopefully, no one else will ever become a sovereign citizen. It never works. Uh, there are some things that are long shots uh, that can be considered luck. But a sovereign citizen never works out. Uh, I'm just happy to have a broken window here. Uh, to give this uh, video a letter grade, not so much on their actions as the, the factor of just being enjoyable to watch, uh, I would give it a B as a broken window. One, dude. Hey, keep recording.